All right, welcome back to Local 33 News. Today we are live again here right along the riverfront levee in downtown Baton Rouge. Just take a live look at the Mississippi River Bridge. Fortunately, it's the 4th of July, so lots of folks probably not heading to work, so there are no traffic issues on the bridge. That's always a good thing. But we are live here now with Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom. Happy 4th of July to you. Same Thanks so much for being with us for this special show. Yeah. So it is the 4th of July. We really wanted to take this time to get out into the community to talk about some of the great things happening in Baton Rouge. As the mayor president, what are you, what are you most excited about uh, and, and where we are right now in Baton Rouge? Well, I can tell you that as I travel throughout the community that people are, have an elevated sense of optimism about the future of Baton Rouge and uh, coalescing and coming together to make that future a reality of peace, prosperity, and progress. And so when I think of the 4th of July, I certainly think of, you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And Baton Rouge is a great place for all of that to happen right here. Absolutely. I, I couldn't have said it better, right? Yeah. We've got lots of wonderful things uh, here that Baton Rouge has to offer. Is yes. there anything in particular that your office is working on or excited about for the well, upcoming well, months? Well, of course, uh, you heard the lieutenant governor talk about tourism, and certainly we're in that space. Uh, a lot of positive things happening as it relates to the film uh, industry. Of course, we are, have our equity and business seminars that are taking place this year, having excellent turnouts as we try to build an infrastructure for uh, entrepreneurs and uh, tech companies and small businesses to have a space that they feel that they can uh, grow and thrive. And of course, hopefully you'll have me back to talk about how we're going to alleviate and reduce traffic congestion. Yes, yes. yes. I've got a very great plan for that, so we, we'll talk about that well, next time. Anytime you want to come on the show, you are more than welcome, and especially if you want to talk about fixing some of the traffic <laughs> issues, you are absolutely more than welcome. But getting back to the 4th of July and really talking about some of the things that make us proud, uh, I know that uh, I'm not a, a Louisiana native, mm -hmm. but you know I, I moved away and came back because yeah. I love Baton Rouge so much. Yeah. Um, what makes you so proud of Baton Rouge and, to, and that you've made this your home as well for for so long. Yeah, I am very proud that um, we are the capital city. So we are the beacon of uh, the state of Louisiana. And I'm very proud of the people here in Baton Rouge because when you think about assets, uh, our people are our greatest assets. And so I'm just thankful and proud to be the mayor of a great city and community of Baton Rouge and East Baton Rouge Parish. Absolutely. Awesome. I have to agree with Jaren, I'm also not from Louisiana, and I moved here uh, and stayed in Louisiana. My first job was in Louisiana, second job here in Louisiana. It, it is just a special place, a special culture, and you kind of get the bug mm -hmm. and you just can't let it go. It grabs you and it doesn't let go. <laughs> That's yep. right. Red stick. Red there stick, red go. stick, Baton Rouge. All right, well, thank you so much, Mayor President, for being with us. Happy 4th of July. Thank you for everything that you're doing for our city parish. And again, anytime you want to come back and talk about some fixing traffic issues, <laughs> we are all ears. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We have much more Local 33 news today when we return. Stay with us.